Hello everyone, this is a uh, contest entry for Mr. Richard McCook. If you don't know Richard's channel, please go on go on over and look up Richard McCook. I'll uh, put his uh, link below to the uh, contest video that he put up not too long ago. Richard is um, a cool guy over in the UK. Um, just a great, um, great knowledge of music. I and mean, the guy's got collection and a half he uh you know one of his top artists uh are abba and he loves abba and he he's really been pumped about their new voyage record that came out um in 2021 and he likes all sorts of other music but if you like abba especially um check out richard but he loves everything um prog rock pop just he he, he, he he's got a wide range so if ABBA throws you off, no need to worry. He has some other um, great musical tastes as well. Richard has been in the uh, YouTube world, the vinyl community, for the last three years. And to celebrate, he is putting on a contest. And it's kind of a neat contest. Um, everything involves the number three, again, three years in the, in the um, YouTube world. So he's um, using that as kind of his theme. And basically, he has three prompts. He wants us to show three artists in our collection um, to show their best and worst albums, in you know, your opinion. He wants us to show three CDs that we would like to see on vinyl or vice versa, any other format. It can be vinyl to CD, cassette to vinyl, whatever it is. Three albums that you would like to see. Um, or like or like to have on vinyl, I should say. And then lastly, the um, last prompt is to show three artists where a best of compilation is really all you need to satisfy um, your tastes and your collection. So uh, let me just jump right in here. Let me start with three artists, my favorite and least favorite albums. So first, let me start with the uh, Avett Brothers. This is probably my least favorite Avett Brothers album. Um, and probably mostly because I'm not as familiar with it as the others. This is a Carolina Jubilee. A lot of people really love this record because it shows their rawness and um, just shows you know what they were when they were first starting out when they were hungry. Um, it's their first full-length album. Um, their first uh, their album before this, considered their first, was called Country Was, and um, this put out in 2003, so it's hard to believe the Avits have been around for 20 years um, with their first album. Great songs on here, Sorry Man, Me and God is cool, I Killed Sally's Lover, The D-Bag Rag is a uh, instrumental. Um, just It's got some good songs on it, but I think just because of familiarity with it, um, I'm just not as, you know, I'm not as likely to pull this one from the shelf. And my favorite Avett album, as of this moment in time, is Magpie and the Dandelion, um, produced by Rick Rubin. This is the third album that the Avets put out on the American label with Rick Rubin. Um, it follows the album The Carpenter, and it was released in 2013. Um, some of my favorite songs on here by them, Morning Song, Another Is Waiting, um, Good To You, Skin and Bone, Souls Like the Wheels, um, let me see. The Souls Like the Wheels is a live version. Vanity, The Clearness is Gone. Just a beautiful album. It's well done. Um, and you've got the Avett Brothers on here, but you've also got, um, let me see, I think you've got uh, Ben Montinch is on here as well. Chad Smith, um, Lenny Castro, um, a lot of members of the Avet family, Jessica Lee Mayfield sings some background vocals. So that's my favorite Avet album. Next, my least favorite album by one of um, one of my newest favorite groups, The Head and the Heart. This is their album, Signs of Light. And I know my buddy Chris, um, this is his favorite by Head and the Heart, but it's just one, it's just, it seems a little bulky. Um, it's just, it's, I don't know, it seems like it, it wasn't put together as well. Um, the, the, the Head and the Heart were going through a lot of personnel changes. Um, the One of the main guys, Josiah Johnson, 
was on his way out. He really didn't contribute much to this album, really, other than a couple of background vocals. And then the title track, which is the last song. So I just think it's bulky. I mean, you've got, you got some good songs. All We Ever Knew is good. City of Angels is good. Um, Turn It Around is okay. Your Mother's Eyes. But it's it's just not my favorite Head in the Heart album. It's their uh, third third um, album that they put out. And like many people, my favorite Head in the Heart album is their debut. Um, this has been their at their most folk. And um, I know that most of this album was recorded before they even really had a record deal. I think they uh, sold like demo copies of this album. I think it was in a, a denim jacket um, sleeve when they would sell it. And, um, and it's got some of their biggest songs on here, Down in the Valley, Rivers and Roads, Winter Song, Sounds Like Hallelujah, um, Ghosts. It's a really great acoustic -y, folky, folky, har harmony-laden album, so their uh, debut. And then lastly, um, a third group, Good Old War. I know I've mentioned them before, another indie um, group. They're a trio, and um, this is their album. It's their self-titled Good Old War. It's actually their second album. Um, again, kind of not as many catchy songs on here. You have um, songs like My Own Sinking Ship, That Summer Dream, Sneaky Louise are all good. Um, Woody's, Woody's Hood Boogie Woogie is a good uh, instrumental. Um, it's got a lot of like interludes in it, like instrumental interludes. So I just don't think it flows as well as some other other albums, but it's their uh, second and uh, not my favorite. And then uh, their my favorite album by them is their first one called Only Way to Be Alone. Um, you have songs on here like Tell Me, uh, probably their biggest song, Coney Island. Um, just really good songs. Looking for Shelter, Weak Man. Um, I'm not for you. Just really good stuff. Great harmonies. So those are my three um, you know, plus and minuses for my uh, three artists in my collection. Uh, next are three CDs that I would like to have on vinyl. And I know I've talked to my friend Tommy Burton about this a lot, um, that I really like to have these on vinyl. Some earlier releases. Just I'm going to show all three albums by Nick Drake. This is his first one called Five Leaves Left. Um, I've talked about Nick Drake a million times, so I'm not going to jump into it, but um, Nick Drake's Five Leaves Left, Great Acoustic Folk, um, Nick Drake's Brighter Later, which I've compared often to Astral Weeks by Van Morrison, so please check out this album. And then his last album, uh, Pink Moon, which um, is probably, probably my favorite Eh, it's hard to say. I like all three a whole lot. And then I like his, um, you know, the album that came out after he died called Time of No Reply, which had a lot of B cuts, um, and I'm um, B sides and deeper cuts. So, Nick Drake, I would like to have his, his uh, discography on vinyl. And then lastly, three artists that the best of is fine by me to have. The first is Randy Travis, country singer in the 80s and early 90s. I love Randy Travis's voice, but I will probably never buy a Randy Travis album um, just because a lot of his stuff, you know, it's that corny uh, 80s country, which I'm not crazy about. But he had some great hits. I mean, Honky Tonk Moon, um, on the other hand, Digging Up Bones, Forever and Ever Amen, um, Hard Rock Bottom of Your Heart, um, Three Wooden Crosses. Just all the songs on this collection are very good. So this is all I need for Randy Travis. Uh, next, this might be a topic of contention, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Um, I like Crosby, Stills, and Nash. I have also their 1974 box set, their live box set. But uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, they're about 50-50 with me in terms of like, what I really like and what I don't like. I'm, I'm not a big fan of David Crosby. Um, so any of his songs, even on this collection, I kind of get tired of really quick. Like, um, Long Time Gone. Um, Guinevere, I'm just not big on, um, Delta is probably my favorite by him, um, Almost Cut My Hair is not on this actually, but, um, I'm, I'm, I get tired of that one too. I love Graham Nash and I love Stephen Stills, but 
David Crosby kind of puts it back for me. Even though I've seen Crosby twice solo, and I've seen him with Crosby, Stills, and Nash. But that's all I need by them. And then lastly, this is probably a group that I could probably turn on in terms of wanting to get some of their earlier albums with Graham Nash to keep in that vein. This is the Hollies. Of course, it's Graham Nash's band, his uh, British Invasion band that he was in before Crosby, Stills, and Nash. This is their greatest hits. Um, you know, Bus Stop, Carrie Ann, Look Through Any Window, Stop, 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 Long Cool Woman in a Black Dress, Dear Eloise, just great stuff on a carousel. Really great. I've listened to this album a hundred times. I love it, but um, I've had it for several years and it's all I've ever bought by the Hollies and it's probably all I'll ever get. But um, yeah, there you go, Richard. Congrats on three years. Everybody, please check out the video um, once I attach it below. Um, take part in his contest. And if you decide you don't want to take part in his contest, just go ahead and subscribe him anyway because he's a really nice guy. And um, I thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you all real soon. So take care.